Police say two teenagers are suspected of subway surfing this morning. One died and the other is in critical condition. Both incidents happened on the six train in the Bronx. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the story. The consequences are serious and could be fatal. Don't lose your life. Right inside, stay alive. This audio message about the dangers of subway surfing plays at the six train stop at Westchester and Morrison Avenues in the Bronx, where police sources say around 1.40 this morning, a 15-year-old was subway surfing on the six line and sustained critical injuries as a result. Hours later, just before 9 a.m. at the Westchester Avenue and Middletown Road stop, a 13-year-old boy was found on the tracks and pronounced dead at the scene. Police believe he was also subway surfing. Subway riders we spoke with say social media seems to be the motivation behind all of this. The social media, like they are the reason why kids are doing what they do. When they're kids, they don't think about their safety, they don't think about their actions. Every day of my life, I see it on TikTok, Instagram. It's the way how social media is nowadays is just very, I don't even know how to explain the words. It's just a lot right now. I've just been seeing it like nonstop ever since like, I'll say spring break. I've lived around this neighborhood since I was six years old. I've never seen this happen before and it's really sad that these teenagers are doing it. It's really upsetting. The NYPD says as of June 9th, year to date, there have been 104 subway surfing incidents and 99 arrests. Two have died. For 2023, there were 143 incidents and 133 arrests. Five died. NYC Transit's interim president released a statement that reads, quote, yet another tragic reminder that riding outside of subway cars is not a cheap thrill, but rather is an extremely dangerous and risky act. We continue to mount an information campaign that includes teens speaking to teens about the dangers of this reckless behavior. Parents are also reminded to speak with their children. In the Pelham Bay section of the Bronx, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.